Hi, my beautiful dreamers. This is your girl, Shalanda Want, and welcome back for another video. <laughs> welcome back for another video. Oh, welcome back for another video. <laughs> What's going on, my dreamers? I hope everybody is well. I hope today you found yourself one step closer to, a, to achieving those dreams, whatever they may be. Uh, first thing I want to say is welcome to all our new dreamers. Guys, our family is getting bigger and bigger by the moment. So you guys just keep pressing that subscribe button and you keep joining because I'm telling you our channel is just really on this launch pad into us finding all the things in us that we, we want to discover. You know, things that we haven't found out. It's, oh, it's just amazing, guys. So keep, keep subscribing. It's great. Um, also, I want to show unbelievable love to all my sister dreamers that showed up last night last night was our first blog tv and it was amazing you know how you you know how you go into something and you be like oh, okay well i'm gonna try it but i'm not really expecting much it's my first time like i am so proud of you guys you really showed up last night and i've been in a couple of blog tv um chat rooms and i'll be honest with you last night was really good we talked about it everything we was talking about makeup holly berry um abortion uh, we were we was talking about men and love and and commitment and uh yikes youtube i mean we was talking about all everything so thank you guys it was amazing and you know it's good when before you hang up or before you guys disconnect or you leave the first thing y'all want to say is okay well when's the next one like, let's, let's just go ahead and solidify the next one. So, we decided, me and Miss Luz, hi, Miss Luz, love you. We decided that um, every Monday at 9 o'clock is a good time for everyone to meet up. And it really is good to get that extra encouragement to help us get through the rest of the week. So, we hook up on Monday night to have our girl time and just talk and chat and, and you know, find out what makeup primer worked well for you and what didn't work well for me or whatever the case may be. Just to get us through that next, that week. It, it was great. You know, we, um, we established a small little challenge just to get through the week. Let's see if we can do this for the rest of the week. Little things like that. It was amazing. So, guys, I urge you and encourage you to definitely show up next week at 9 o'clock. Um, go back. I'll make sure that link to that last video is in here. However, so I just want to show a lot of love for all those people that showed up. I love you guys. I love you so much. You have no idea. But, um, one of our sister dreamers, um, I love her, Mac Fanatic. Love you, baby. Um, she decided, well, she asked me to show my favorite new lipsticks. And, um, of course, I said I would, and here we go. So let me just start off by saying that I've never truly been a lipstick girl. I just really got into the whole lipstick thing. Um, I think in my mind I did have that same thing as old lipsticks, you know. I was a chapstick girl. I can go and throw on some chapstick or some, you know, I'm sorry, some little cute little lip gloss or something and keep it moving. Like, regardless of what my eyes look like, if I put on lip gloss, I'm good. However, with some more maturity and really, um learning more about my beauty and more about my makeup I've embraced lipstick and recognized how gorgeous they are so I say all that to say that I am not stuck on any particular type of brand I like lipstick now you do get what you pay for however there are some that, that there are some that you can manipulate to be just as gorgeous as top line so i'm going to show you some of my favorites not all of them but some of them that i go through on a regular basis that i have really embraced and really 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 like so first of all let's talk about what is a nude lipstick and what defies a lipstick to be nude it's not necessarily it just matching your skin tone because that's actually not what a nude lipstick is that's one of the reasons what makes it a, a new lipstick but most new lipsticks have a purpose and most of them are lipsticks that blend well with your skin complexion and or highlight your lips now you might say well shalinda a red lipstick does that however it does it on a bright level i'm talking about on a level to where it almost you can either go for an ashy look that blends in with your skin or a very neutral look that adds well with your skin. So we're talking about neutrals and new lipsticks that 
will help define, honestly, a neutral eye and or a very um, strong eye. So I hope I'm making that clear. And if I need to clarify that anymore, I will. So let's just start with some of the lipsticks that I wear that when I just want a new look, I'm not looking for any type of, I'm not looking for predominant color. I'm not trying to make a statement with a, my lip because you can make a statement with a really soft pink lip. You can make a statement with a little purple lip. So these are definitely not nudes because you're not trying to make a point. But there are nude lipsticks that make points and I'm going to show you some examples of that. So the first um, ones I'm going to show you are really cheap and these are I think they were like a dollar and they are from Jordania Jordana and this one is called 33 matte taupe and this is a matte lipstick and I think this was like a dollar dollar ninety nine something like that and let me just swatch it for you so you can barely see it but if you get close enough, you probably can see it has somewhat of an ashy look. But actually, when you see it, it's more of a, it's like the perfect color of my lip. It's like the perfect color of my lip. I really like this because this is the one that I could throw on every day with a little bit of uh, lip gloss and keep it moving for cheap. So this is one that I wear often. Really like this one. The next one I want to show you actually is has a little bit more shimmer to it. And that one is to call 156 Beige Frost, also from Jordana. Jordania. Jordan? Jordania? Am I saying that right? I don't think I'm saying it. it's not coming out of my mouth right, but you get the point. Jordana. Jordana, right? Okay, anyway. So this is what this one looks like. This one, this is a new, but it actually has a shimmer to it, like a frost to it. Really like this one. Believe it or not, when it goes on the lip, you can barely see it. Unless you, like, put it on like crazy. But this one obviously has a frost, and you definitely will see, like, some type of shine to it. But it actually is very nude. And I like that because sometimes you don't want, like I say, you're not trying to make a statement. Maybe my statement for that night is just a shimmer and not a gloss, so... Or not a color. So I really like this one. The last one for G from Jordana that, that I really like is called 115 Cinnamon. And I really like this one. This is one that I wear often also. Because it has an actual, more than a shimmer, it has like a gold, like a golden accent to it. And I'm actually scraping it on to give you guys, a, for you guys to see it. But when I put it on my lips, I never scrape that hard. I'm just going just for the shimmer look. So this one definitely has more of a metallic type, uh, like more of a pearl, pink, metallic look. And this one is straight just gold. This one is just has like a copper gold shimmer to it. And these are nudes because they don't have any color to them. They simply have a, I mean literally, a light shimmer to it with some, and this is cheap. We all know you can get the lip glass from MAC, but this one is a cheap one from Jordana, and it's just a super shiny, tasty lip gloss. I put these two together, and my lips, my lips, my lip gloss be popping. My lip gloss be cool. <laughs> okay, my bad. Okay, so the next ones I'm going to show you is, this one, the, those was really cheap. Now I'm going to step it up a little bit, and this is the one that I, um, also from the drugstore, but I, this one is about $8, $9. And I've been loving it. Oh, loving it with a really pretty uh, lip liner. And this one is from Milani, this lip liner. It's a nice brown um, lip liner. With the 20 called Creamy Cocoa. I love this one. I also showed you guys this one in my um, Milani haul that I did. Love this one. Oh. This one, I'm trying to make a statement, but I'm not trying to make a loud statement. That's one I'm like, yes, I'm nude, but damn it, take a look. That's that's that lipstick that I, I really like this lipstick. I know you guys can't see it, but it does have like a soft, I see more peach, peach copper color in this, which obviously on my skin tone will definitely come off definitely nude. 
I really like it a lot. This, uh, love it, guys. Please, if you go to CVS, if you don't pick none of them up. But even though, check out that video, because that was a good video. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. If you can pick up some of those lipsticks, then do that, because the quality of these lipsticks have been phenomenal. Phenomenal. I actually have one of them on now, the grape one from that video. I actually have one now, and it's so smooth and silky. Love Milani. Love Milani. I just, child, if I have another kid, I'm going to name her Milani. I'm lying. Anyway, so the next ones are um, high-end, and they were about $14 to $15, and they are from MAC. So here we go. The first one I want to show you is one, one that I have for quite a while now, and it's called Satin. And this one is definitely, it's been through some stuff. It was in my pocketbook, but this is it. But it still makes a point because I put it on with a lip gloss. And I'm just going to pat it real quick so I can swatch it for you. No? Okay. Can you see that? This one is bare nude. It has no shimmer. It's, it's like exactly the color of my lips. The difference between this one and... Hold on. Yeah, the difference between this one... And the one from Jordana is that Jordana is a straight matte. This this one here is just straight matte. Like it, it's just if you want a matte powdered look lip, that's what I get from this one. This one is definitely more creamier. It's definitely a more creamy and it blends, you know, see? So that's the difference between these two. But that's why I say like sometimes high end and low end is not that different. Honestly, they're not. But this is one that I wear if I'm really going for a creamy, just a bow. This, this is my lip. This is just my lip. I don't want nothing else on it. I don't want anything. It's, I'm just showing you my lip. Or, you know, I've used these if I wanted to go crazy. And I put on like a purple lip liner with these. And it actually looks really pretty. Really pretty. It's, it, was, it, was a, it was a gamble, but it looks really pretty. So if you want to try something adventurous, try that. But I really like this satin one for the creamy look. Creamy natural lip look. This next one is one that, and I actually had this, in, um, someone asked me to create a interview makeup look. And I have that video coming hopefully maybe tomorrow, the day after. No. Maybe, yeah, maybe the day after, one of them. But this is the lipstick that I always wear. It's not necessarily from the eye to you a nude because it definitely has like a berry look but it's an everyday lipstick for me that I would wear so I'm definitely going to be wearing this one in that video but if you can see it, it's more it still has that nude feeling to me just because it's not a it's not a berry berry it's called um, spice is nice and for me it definitely goes on according well with my skin complexion it's more of a nude with a warmth this is more warm for me so when i put this on with my everyday look and i'm trying to have that you know if i'm going for that really corporate soft look this is what i do and it's beautiful especially with my skin and you know the warm lipstick and the warm blush and you know the very simple natural eye is gorgeous so look out for that video gorgeous love this one this is called spice is nice this is a must-have, in my opinion, for women of darker skin tones like myself. Gotta have it. I don't care what you do. Go get it. I don't care. Because y'all know you're going to go to Max. So you might as well pick it up. The last two, uh, well, the last lipstick itself is one that is a bold face nude lipstick. And when I say it's nude, it's ashy. It's ashy, like... I want you to see how pale my lips are. And I'm sure you all know, it's the Viva Glam Gaga 2. I love this lipstick. I had it on in one of my last videos. And literally, like, it looked like my lips were missing. <laughs> and that's what I was going for. I was trying to show you guys this lipstick. And it literally looked like the lips are missing off of your face. That's how new this lipstick is. Especially when you top it with the lip gloss that come along with it. The lip gloss by um, um, Viva Glam, uh, Viva, Viva Glam Gaga 2. That lipstick with this gloss 
is just where's your lips and it's gorgeous it's gorgeous so this is this is the one when i'm saying you're trying to actually make a statement you're actually trying to say look at my lips look how pale my lips are that the pale lips have to be going with a look like i don't necessarily recommend that you wear this every day if that's not the statement you're trying to make if you're just trying to go for lip gloss and you grab for these yikes get another lip gloss but if you're going for this and you know how to wear this and you have a neutral eye and the neutral eye complements the lip gorgeous absolutely gorgeous love it the last one i'm going to show you is not a lipstick but it's one that i've since i've brought it I've been wearing it every day, and it's neutral on my skin complexion, on a fairer sister, a sister that's light, you know, have much lighter skin. This is not a neutral color, but it's from the Wonder Woman Matte Collection, and it, this one is called the Lip, um, Lip Glass Secret Identity on me. This is very neutral, and I love it. When I'm just, you know, running out the house, this is the one I keep in my pocketbook. I keep this in my pocketbook that's neutral for me and it's just a perfect gloss it you know it's not it's not white you know clear it has it has like um you know if the, the light hit it you can see like the pinks in it a little bit it's a perfect everyday gloss and i leave it keep it in my pocketbook i love how big the tip is i love everything about this lip gloss everything about it everything how big it is and, um, I purchased this for $20, and in my opinion, it's worth the $20. It lasts, it goes on your lips, it keeps your lips moisturized. Absolutely, positively love this. If you're a dark sister like me, and you want like an everyday gloss that you can just throw on, that you don't have to worry about re uh, reapplying every 10 minutes, please go get this and um, let me know how you feel about this, because this is the buzz. This is Wonder Woman's Buttons. Love it. 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 Did I tell you I love it? How? Love it. Love it. Oh. Love it. Love it. So that's it, guys. Those are my neutral lipsticks that I would reach to if I'm going for that look. If I'm going for a look that I either want to be understated or I really want you to say, hey, look at my new lip. Those are the lipsticks that I go to. So, guys, I hope it, uh, this answered a lot of questions. I hope this gave you more of an idea on where I am with my lipstick um, journey. If you have any questions, please, please, please do not hesitate. Leave comments, rate, and subscribe if you already haven't. As always, guys, find the closest mirror to you and find and embrace the beautiful dreamer in you and in every single thing you do. Love you guys. Bye.